Hello, my name is Ed Cunning. I am the uh, Eastern Regional Manager for AEMC Instruments. Today we're going to talk about our uh, MTX multimeter. Well, first of all, you notice it's a very unique design. It has a hard rubber shockproof case on it, and it has a large backlit display. Okay. Um, you will see a rotary dial emulated in this approach, although that has proven in the past to be one of the weakest links in the chain, the connections and what have you. However, it can still be operated, operated with a, a single hand by selecting volts, amps, and some of the other functions, frequency, temperature, capacitance, resistance, and this is your setup button, if you will. And because we can perform several different setup functions, we can save that one which is the most popular, and this effectively becomes our favorites. Okay. I'm going to turn it on, and you'll see the large backlit display come up. This is an incredibly unique device in that it has 100,000 counts. Now, what does that mean? It means that we can measure from the decimal point, we can go 0, 0, 0, 001 above the decimal point, and we can go decimal point 0, 0, 001, and any permutation and combination in between. The nearest unit on the market is 50,000 counts, so this is uh, twice as good as what's available. Uh, what this effectively does, it takes a benchtop calibrating device and makes it a handheld multimeter in this realm and at a significantly uh, improved price. Okay. It has memory which makes it unprecedented also. It can store up to 6,500 points. That is, in this case I'm taking local voltage reading and I can store 6,500 readings at a rate of once a second. So effectively that allows me to go out to 6,500 seconds for a recording session. So this can record. It can record four different functions, which makes it very unique. What I'm doing here is I'm measuring the local voltage, uh, and it has Bluetooth capability, which again is, is a relatively new phenomenon in this class of instrument. I can talk to this as a class A instrument, which is 45, up to 45 feet away, it also allows us to put us in a NEMA 12 metal enclosure, and we know with our NFP 70E uh, restrictions on getting in and out of power cubicles, it allows us to put it inside the cubicle without a window and talk to it outside through the metal case. This again is a, a unique feature. It comes with a software package. The software package allows us to display what is on the, the uh, local display remotely with the software package that comes with it. And I'm going to demonstrate that. It comes up with a screen ready to go, and by simply going up here to File and Run, I will now communicate with the device. It says, okay, which channel do you want to look at? I can program and indicate up to four channels. I'm going to say I'm only looking at channel one for the time being. It's communicating with that channel and ready to go. Now what we'll see here is the same voltage that appears on the display. I get a visual indication up here, two decimal places. I actually get a tabular listing of each and every sample. This is ongoing. And I also get a graphic display. This is totally new in the industry, very unique. Now I can save this. I could not necessarily have this, save it in here, then download it and reproduce this uh, with the software at a later date. So this makes it, makes it a very unique function. I can measure devices that have a 4 to 20 milliamp output, for example, in the case of uh, process control. And that 4 to 20 milliamp signal is going to be equal to some engineering unit, be it pressure, flow, what have you. I can put in up to three different characters, for example, when I'm reading 4 milliamps, I can say that is 0 PSI. And when I'm reading 20 milliamps, that could be 100 PSI. And it could be flow, gallons per hour, okay? It could be level, or any one of those uh, classic engineering parameters that are associated with 4 to 20 milliamp signals coming into the device, okay? 
And again, I will then present those out at the software and I can see those visually real time or after being stored. So here we're demonstrating actually the three decimal places of accuracy that this device has. Okay. After I have completed a recording session, I can go back in and review by simply moving the cursor around. I can say, um, what was this value right here? I move the cursor and I get the instantaneous value there and it happens to tell me what that recording line item was at that one second rate originally. So this is your total recording session. When I move the cursor here, that tells me, oh, that's the one I'm reading. That's sample number 28. Okay. It has a setup menu when I press menu and that allows me to uh, get down and determine measurements, some of the functions. There's your happy face for your classic setup. Math functions, this can perform add, subtract, multiply, divide, any two uh, readings and or a constant that I can put in here. Uh, and in the memory, it has a memory, I can go in and look at some of the recording sessions. In this case, consult means to review. So let's review an existing recording session that's in here. So I can go over to that recording session. These are all the recording sessions that I have put in here. And I can say, uh, let's, let's review this one at, at that date. It's bringing it up from memory. It's going to load it on the screen and present what we saw actually earlier. Okay. So this was a previous recording session that we had uh, conducted. And as you will see, this black area here effectively is this area blown up here. I can move that to the next area and it will zoom that up and blow that up. So this way I can analyze a recording session after the fact on the instrument itself or on the computer. This is a very unique function. Okay, this afternoon we're going to show you the remote control capability, if you will, or remote display. Uh, as you can see, I am uh, 50 feet away from my source which is my meter measuring uh, house voltage and I'm displaying it remotely and to prove the point I can walk away and you can see it continuously display the voltage both real time, time you're listening again and graphically. Well, now probably something on the order of about 55 feet away and still counting. Now this can be, again, it can be enclosed in a NEMA 12 enclosure and I can still read it from externally. I just reached the limits of its range. Probably around more than the classic 45, 50 feet. I'm about 60 feet away and it just uh, got out of range. That concludes today's uh, review of the AEMC MX multimeter. Thank you for your time and attention.